Well, thanks for visiting us this morning at KTALnews.com as well as your Weather Authority app. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses, and this is your Wednesday morning forecast update. Our temperatures should be a few degrees cooler today. Reason for that, we actually uh, have some rain that's popping up slightly earlier this morning, so that will bring some clouds to the region. Few areas will see a few scattered showers this morning, but with the earlier day uh, rainfall today, that will likely hold our temperatures in the 80s this afternoon. Coming off a couple of days where we've had highs in the low 90s, but uh, taking a look at the radar this morning you can see there's a little cool front that's rolling through basically what's happening today we've had uh, a weak front that's been uh, kind of stationary or stalled out here across the northern architect well that front's beginning to push south so it's hitting that warm and humid air this morning and that's the reason we're seeing a few of these thunder showers uh, pop up and that will be kind of on and off through the morning we'll probably see better coverage of the rain this afternoon but behind this front today there is going to be a lot of dry air that comes in north of i-30 and you can really see that on the water vapor imagery this morning. You can see the orange and uh, kind of dark brown colors here indicating all the dry air that is surrounding the Arkeltex today, but we still have uh, that dark spot right over us indicating where the water vapor, uh, the potential rainfall is still overhead, kind of seeing that humidity basically on the water vapor satellite. So the uh, fuel is still there for some of those showers and storms today, which is why I think we'll see those temperatures come in uh, a little bit below average and probably uh, a little bit lower than what we've seen so far this week. Anywhere from 87 to 89 degrees this afternoon and again the uh, typical high this time of the year is about 90 to 92 and we should stay below that uh, for the next week or so take a look at your robin's toyota future cast it does show at least a little bit of a lull in the rainfall by the late morning but once we start to warm up this afternoon again there's those uh, scattered spotty showers and storms later today notice we'll really dry out here north of i-30 uh, once we get to the mid-afternoon so i'd say most of the rain after about 3 p.m today will be across uh, texas and louisiana not under the uh, severe weather threat today, but we will have some lightning, some gusty winds, and uh, maybe some brief heavy rainfall with the storms. And have kept a 10% chance of rain in the forecast tomorrow. You can see this little disturbance swinging through and uh, maybe triggering a little bit of rain Thursday. But generally, most of us will uh, see a bit of a drying trend Thursday as well as Friday. Not a lot of rain here, but we're showing maybe a quarter to uh, three quarters inch of rain south of I-20. And there's always the potential that we could see a rogue storm here, uh, maybe drop two to three inches of rain. Uh, uh, given the water amount that's still in the ground here from the past few weeks, if we do see those higher rainfall totals today, we could see just a marginal risk again on a scale of one to four as the level one threat for flash flooding, which is kind of low end of the scale. But uh, this is where we could see some excessive rainfall today, basically I-20 and southward. Rainfall goes away for a few days after today, but we do have some storms in the weekend forecast. So if you're planning out the weekend, I expect some rain Saturday afternoon. Should dry out pretty quickly as we move through the day on Sunday and really nice weather uh, temperatures in the upper 80s overnight lows should be in the 60s and 70s in fact a front next week uh, could bring some mornings maybe in the low to mid 60s by the middle of next week